Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, shop my stash, um, doing my kind of comfort makeup look. That's what I'm just calling it because no matter what, I know that these products aren't going to let me down and I use them all the time. And this is kind of like my, I wouldn't say go-to like everyday makeup look because this is obviously a very smoky look. But the products that I'm using, like the actual palette itself, I would use on a regular basis. And I just feel like all of the products that I use in this video, I know I'm going to wind up with a look that I actually like and that I feel good in. So if you want to see how to get this look and what products I use, then please keep watching. Hello! Here I am again. Are you sick of me yet? I hope not. Okay, so I have a bare face. We are going to go in with... Kelly Ray Primer. Sorry, I don't know what that noise is, but it's loud. Okay, so I'm just going in. Usually I just kind of concentrate on the cheeks and like basically this inner part of my cheek here because it helps to blur these pores. And then I go on the forehead, and the forehead I kind of go everywhere because I like to smooth out these little fine lines that I have just right on the sides here. And then I have kind of like a, the startings of an 11 on my forehead. Please hold. I'm hoping the noise has gone. It was a garbage truck, I'm sorry, it was being so loud. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite foundations. This is the Revlon Colorstay for a combination oily skin. And what, I'm running out and it starts squirting everywhere and then I randomly find foundation like on my carpet, on my clothes. Oh, apparently it's in my hair. Okay, okay. Okay, so great. Um, anyway, uh, so I go put a little bit on my hand and I've also been really liking the combination of these two because this one I feel like kind of just maybe shears it out a little bit, but also kind of helps with the color. You can see it's that like grayish tone. And this one is in the shade 21 Light Beige and then the color say it's in Sand Beige, uh, number 180. I also just bought this because everyone talks about how obsessed they are with this and this is the Misha uh, Perfect Cover BB Cream and this is also number 21. Are they owned by the same company? I'm confused because they're both number 21, they're both light beige and they're very very similar. I feel like I kind of like this one a little bit more but I'm going to give this one more time but I have enjoyed that one as well. So I have the two mixed together here. And I did just also uh, go in with that um, primer. Oh my god, the words escaped me. I went in with that primer on my nose and on my chin also while the garbage truck was just rolling away. And I'm not sure why the lighting is so bad right now. There's like no sunshine coming in here. So it's like hard for me to even see that I'm getting everything. This lighting is not good. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I just love the way this has been looking on the skin. It's not too heavy. Like that Purito on its own does have a decent amount of coverage, but I feel like it's sometimes a little bit shiny if I just use that on its own. But I love the combination of the two. Like you can see, it's just has that beautiful coverage and I feel like it makes your face literally poreless. And I'm never poreless, so. For me to say that about my skin, that's kind of a big deal. And if you can hear that noise, that's my baseboard heater making some sort of 
ping pong sound. And I like to go like this, just so I can really get through all of my little mouth wrinkles. I've been noticing that a lot lately, and I think that could be from drinking out of a straw, maybe, or, I don't know, posing in pictures and doing the stupid kissy face. I think I need to really just stop doing that. So I'm just mixing a tiny bit more going on to my forehead. I feel like this brush kind of soaked up a lot of product. Because usually I feel like I can do my whole face with the amount that I used. So you can see how smooth that looks on the skin. And I feel like the color is just perfect. I feel like I missed a spot on my jawline here. One thing I notice with the Revlon Color Stay, I feel like sometimes I'll notice like it'll be a little bit patchy. So I have to make sure I really go in with the brush and really blend it out. <clears throat> sometimes I won't notice it until I'm like in the car or something. And I'm like, what happened? Why is there just like a hole missing with coverage here? And, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> I also noticed that my, in my, one of my videos, I was saying how I felt like my skin was getting just a little bit better, and I forgot to mention why. I was like, I'll get into that later in the video, and then I just didn't. Um, and I think it's because I've been trying new skincare. I've been trying Reversal, which... I actually just found on, I think it was just like a Facebook ad. And I remember seeing there was like a trial, a 15 day trial for free. And I'm like, surely it's not gonna actually be for free because they always say that. And then you have to pay for shipping. Like there's always some kind of catch, you know, like if somebody contacts you on Instagram they're like, hey, we want you to try our brand. And then they're like, just pay $50 shipping. And I'm like, um, no. <laughs> I'm going to try your brand. And you want me to advertise for it. Then send it for free. So anyway. Not that I... I don't even have that many followers on Instagram. It's just... I don't know. The odd time I'll get some random, like... Request from some... Sorry. Just got foundation on my nose right there. And I like to really just get in the corner of the nose and below the nose. Because that's where I have all my redness. It's like right down here. So, okay. I'm looking quite pale. But that's okay. But I notice like... Okay. I was going to say sometimes if I hold something up, the color will like change a little bit. But apparently... It didn't, just because I said it would. Anyway, yeah, so this is just like my, this is what I go to if I don't know what to wear, if I just want something that I know will look good and I'll feel comfortable in and like won't really let me down. I'm going to use a different palette than I normally use, but they're very similar. So I was going to use the um, Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes palette, but I think instead, because I haven't used the warm sides of this palette yet, I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3, because I've only done, I think, cool tone looks with that palette so far, and recently, I don't know why, I just felt like I go through phases, and this happens all the time. I felt like the cooler tones have been washing me out, so I'm going to just go in with some warmer tones. And I feel like this is kind of like... The Charlotte Tilbury palette has warm and cool tones, and I kind of just mix them all together. But the, war the look itself kind of leans more warm. So I'm just going to go with very similar shades. So... Uh, that was just the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Not Painterly, Soft Ochre. I always say Painterly. 
soft ochre. It has a more yellowy tone to it. <clears throat> and the concealer that I've been really liking is this one here. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, and it's in the shade 3.5 Fair. And sorry, it's a longer name. Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. And then my good old faithful Givenchy Prisma Libre, and it's in the shade Voile de Rosé number three. And then what I like to do with my concealer, I've just been doing this lately and I just like the tone. So I just put a little bit in the corner, a little bit on the outside there. And then, oh my goodness, sorry, I just see that Brad Mondo posted something. Have you seen all this controversy on his Instagram? Because he's posting with a girl, everybody's like, oh my goodness. Is he straight? And it's like, who cares? I mean, I think he's doing it as like a PR move because I think they have a podcast together. But like, who really cares? So, you know? Anyways, so I just added, did I even say? Maybelline Makeup Eraser, the corrector. And this is in the shade 160. So it's that pinky tone. So I like to just kind of mix them together. And you see that just like brightened my eye right up. Like look how dark it is here. So I have spoken about this, I think many times before, but there are tiny little, what look like specks of glitter. I can't see them right now. Like if you just look at my eye right now, you won't see them really. But I think because I mix it with the uh, Givenchy powder I think it kind of that one has a tiny bit of like sparkle to it too and I think it's mica that's making it look like there's sparkle but um it doesn't really bother me so I'm just trying to find my concealer brush here somewhere there we go and then I'm just kind of Softening the look of the lines here. And then I just go in with my little powder puff and dab it off on my hand. And then set that under eye. I know a lot of people like will be like, oh, this concealer is self-setting. Maybe not this one, but a lot of concealers I think are self-setting, like the Makeup by Mario. I think you don't have to set it, but I feel like I literally have to set my concealer. Always. It just doesn't sit right on my under eye. If I don't, even though I know it's like, it's probably gonna make my eye look older like I have a little line there I mean I'm not too worried about it it is what it is at this point so I'm gonna do my other eye and then I'll come back and set with my powder okay so I just powdered my cheek sorry with the same powder now I'm just going on my forehead I just started going and I was like oh I'm not recording and I like to almost like frown to get rid of these these lines right here just so I can set it. Like obviously if you have your eyebrows lifted, you're gonna have, you're gonna be setting it while you have wrinkles there, if you have any. And then I'm just setting my chin and then my nose. I think I took a little bit too much powder in here. That's fine. And then I have little like teeny fine lines there too. So I just try to set that down too. And then what I like to do is just take a teeny tiny bit of my NARS Advanced Perfecting Powder, which I'm almost out of. So I am taking a very teeny tiny bit. And 
it's in the shade Cove. And I just go right in the spots that I notice get super shiny very quickly. And I'm trying not to put too much because I don't want it to look super cakey in the center of my face either. Because I notice if I put too much, it could kind of emphasize the look of the pores rather than blur them, which is the goal. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the bronzer that I've just been using all the time, which is just the Sephora Collection bronzer and it's in the shade Mallorca. And let's just go right in. And I am going to use a liquid blush that I've been loving lately, which I hadn't used in forever. And I'm happy that I started using it again. This is why it's always good to do a little shop your stash you actually start using what you have there's just so much new stuff coming out there's the Guerlain blushes there's going to be the YSL bronzers there's the Dior bronzers which I still haven't seen on Sephora Canada but I'm waiting because Charlotte Holdcroft has a review it's probably out by the time this video is going to be posted but she mentioned to watch the video before you buy so I don't know if maybe they're too glowy or what's going on, but I did see she did swatches of the shades and they did look very similar to each other. So I don't know if that's maybe the issue or, or what, but yeah, I am waiting patiently for the YSL bronzer. And I think I'm gonna get number two. Hopefully, they'll be on YSL Canada or Sephora. But buyer beware. I noticed that Sephora is charging way more for the quads, the uh, mini clutch quads on Sephora than they actually charge at like Shoppers Drug Mart or what they charge at on the actual YSL site. They're $92 on Sephora, and I think they're 80 on Shoppers and on YSL. So keep that in mind. And I think Selfridges are 72. So like, this is crazy. That's 72 Canadian. So just keep an eye out. Okay, so I think we're probably good for bronzer. You're like, no kidding, stop now. I have a problem. I always feel like I'm so pale, so I just keep going and going and going. And then sometimes I'll watch a video back and be like, whoa, stop girl. But also, when it's like overcast, it washes me out. Okay, so that's the bronzer. Um, yeah, so what are you guys getting? I picked up one of the Guerlain blushes, but that's all I'm gonna get for now. I do really want that, um, that corally shade. It's like deep coral, I think it's called. Um, but I got light pink. And then for the Patrick Ta blushes, I got um, Not Too Much. And then I can't remember the name of the gloss, but the pink one. So I'm going to go in with the shade Hope by Rare Beauty. I've been really, really liking this. And I just go in with the dab on the hand first. And then I go in with my, I've loved this for, this is probably really good for foundation too. This is the mini base by Sonia G. And I've been using this for cream blush or liquid blush, and I really like it. I feel like it just kind of blends everything out perfectly. Yeah, I've just really been loving this shade. It's like I forgot how pretty it is. So this isn't what I was going to initially use. What I was going to use is Lavender Blonde 
because that has been like my go-to for um, blush lately, but also like you can't get it anymore. So that's not the best. So that's why I'm just going in with this one. And I noticed that I kind of get the same type of pretty like pinky look with this. So. so this one obviously looks better because I had it all blended on my hand already. So I think I just need to kind of fix this area here. So maybe with my foundation brush, just kind of soften the look of that. I feel like that looks better. And then and then I'll just go in with my highlight so I have been using this one forever but I feel like let's just take a rest from this one for a while and go in with sorry my hair is just all over the place um let's go in with the house labs they still have this one this is peach quartz the bio radiant gel powder highlighter peach quartz it does have a tiny bit of um what look like glitter particles if you just look at it here, it just kind of looks like wet on the face, but in person, I feel like in the sunlight, you can see a teeny tiny bit of those flecks. Okay. So I, I don't really have anything on this brush, but I'm just, I think I had lavender blonde a little bit on this brush, so I'm just going to pop that on just a little bit and then I think I will do my brows and contour my nose and I'll be back for the eyes tell me why this eyebrow is always good not too dark and this one it's like no nope, no anyway disregard <laughs> if you've watched me you know this by now just ignore my eyebrows and I'm sorry so we're going to go in with the Major Dimension 3 palette, and I'm going to use basically every single tone in this. I'm not going to use this. Maybe I will. Mm, we'll see. Um, but I'm first going to go in with the second shade, and I'm going to use a fluffier brush for this one. This is just a Morphe brush, one of the Makeup by Ariel brushes. And I'm gonna kind of blow this look out. I always think like a warm toned eye with a pink cheek and like a pinky nude lip just looks so, I don't know, like pretty and feminine. I just think it looks so nice. I'll never forget a look I saw using this and this is like very kind of inspired by the look that she did and it was um Emily's makeup bag is that right if that's wrong I'm sorry and I will correct it in the comments um but she did such a beautiful look using the Patrick Ta palette and it was all the warm tones and it was basically every single color I'm going to be using and it just looked so pretty on her. And I just remember being like, wow, that looks so good. Um, and now I'm going to go in with just like a kind of smaller crease brush. This is the Morphe M433. This is a super old one that I probably need to get rid of. And going in with that sh third shade here. And just kind of putting it a little bit closer to the crease. Not as blown out. But yeah, it's funny because I actually wore this makeup the other day and my mom was like, oh, why are you so dressed up? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> she was like, I don't know, you look like you're like fancy and your makeup's all done and your hair's done, and which it's done every day. So I'm like, it must just be the type of makeup I did that she likes. So I'm going in with that darker shade, one up from the one I just used. 
and I think it is called Crucial. And we're just going a little bit more on the lid here and then a little bit more into the crease. And same brush. And then what we're gonna do is go in with another brush, an even smaller brush. Let's go in with this one. This is just a Sonia G brush and this is with the shade Trademark. And we're gonna go right on the crease. And we're gonna blend this out. But you can see that's just, oh, that made it quite a bit darker. So we'll just go a little bit onto the lash or onto the lid. It's funny because it doesn't really look that much darker in the pan, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa. Okay, so that went quite a bit darker. So we're just gonna go back in with this brush here. No new product added on it, but just to blend this all out. What's nice is basically you're going one step up in the shades, so it does kind of blend gradually because you're just using like a little bit darker, a little bit darker, just a little bit darker, you're just... And then we're gonna go back in with the fluffy brush and I'm gonna take just a tiny touch of that shade, that lighter shade again, which is classic. And then just blend it out. And then I'm gonna go on the actual lid with that lightest beige shade, not the white one, this beige one here. And I'm gonna use just a flat brush for that. And you'll see how much that just brightens the lid quite a bit. And then what we're gonna do is go in the inner corner with a fluffy brush and go in with that whitish shade here. I bought these like nice, cute, um, like warm toned kind of brownie warm toned boots are kind of like this color and I just I was wearing them the other day and I'm like I'm gonna match my eye makeup to my boots and I did and it looked so cute okay so now I don't think I'm gonna use the cream just because I just don't want to deal with that cream <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with an eyeliner which is just the Byredo Bora Bora Kajal Pencil and it probably needs a sharpen, but I'm too lazy. And I'm just gonna go as tight to the lash line as I can with this jumbo thing. What's nice about this is because it's a Kajal, it's very like soft. So you barely even have to like press on it for it to actually go on the lid. So I think for the eyeliner, I'm gonna mix this shade, which is <clears throat> um, Fundamental. And I'm gonna mix it with uh, Trademark. So basically these two here, um, this darkest brown and then this darkest rich brown. And I'm just taking, oh, this is the wrong one. This is not the one I wanted to use, but that's fine. I'll just go ahead anyway. And I'll just kind of smudge it out a bit. My eye is watering. I'm trying not to like smudge everything. The weirdest thing ever, did you know that usually when your eyes water, it's because you have dry eyes, you'd feel like they'd be too moist and that's why they're watering. But every time I use my uh, 
eye drops. It really, really helps. Just a little FYI, in case anybody wanted to know. But yeah, I always have like one eye that will water so much. I'm like, what is happening? And that's why. Uh, where did I put that little Sonia Cashew brush? Where did I put it? Hmm. Oh, I found it. So I'm just going to... I'm not adding more product. I'm just kind of pulling that deepest color out a little bit more to just kind of join that liner. And then going back in with the fluffy brush, no further product added onto it. And just kind of blowing that out a little bit more. So I could just leave it like this. Like yesterday, I just wore it like this and put some liner on or put some mascara on and that was it. But I did it the other day going under the eye with... Um, some shadow and I really like the look of that so I'm going to go finish this eye put my mascara on and then we'll do the underneath together okay I'm back because I want to talk about this is anybody watching love is blind I have a few things to say about this <laughs> okay I feel like everyone is being so mean about Chelsea and they're like Oh my god, she's so manipulative and blah blah blah. Okay, I haven't seen episode 6, which is out. So I can't really comment on what they mean by that. But if they're just talking about, like, in general, like, while she was in the pod, I don't really see that. Sorry, there's a little fuzz on my mascara here. I'm just like, in what way? I think she was just confused. Like, I kind of feel bad because she's like, I'm not used to, you know, being loved, like, and all that stuff, which I was like, oh, that's sad. Like, I want that for her. But also, like, why didn't you pick Trevor? Sorry. Oh, my God. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen this, get out. Not get out, but fast forward. Like, he was so nice. And, like, I kind of hope they still end up together. But then you, like, feel bad because you're like, well, like, he deserves not to be second place. And, like, why were they all into Jimmy? Like, kind of a douche. As soon as he heard anything they had to say, like, oh, I was married. He's like, or I had a kid and he's like, which, okay, I get, like, if you're not expecting it or they hadn't brought it up, yes, it would be shocking. But when she said it to Trevor, he was just like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, no, I don't think, like, we talk about it, but that's not a big deal, blah, blah, blah. I would love you no matter what, no matter what you look like, etc. Okay. And everybody's like, she told Jimmy she looked like Megan Fox. Okay, correction. She did not say she looked like Megan Fox. It's not like, oh, I think I look like Megan Fox. He's like, have you been told you look like a celebrity? And she's like, a couple times people have said that I look like MGK's wife or... Like, she didn't even say Megan, well, she did after, but she's like, or girlfriend, I think it's Megan Fox or whatever. And he was like, whoa, like immediately he's like, okay, she looks identical to her. And it's like, she never said that. She even said, I don't see it. She's like, I think it's just the dark hair and the, and the blue eyes. That's all she said. And she's not lying. She has dark hair and blue eyes. Okay. Maybe she shouldn't have thrown a name out there because he obviously just put that in his brain. And so when he saw her, I feel like he was kind of like, uh, what? 
but then he was like hugging her and kissing her and stuff and he was like oh i kind of forgot what you look like like when they like reconvened and were at the hotel or whatever and he's like you're beautiful blah 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 and he keeps telling her that and he's like oh the first time i saw you i i can't say what i was thinking i need to keep it pg which obviously you'd be thinking like oh i want to like bone you or whatever is what i would think he meant and then and then he's like you have big white teeth she's like okay what why is that pg or he's like she's like what how was that keeping it pg like what did you mean by that and he was like looking at her and he's like well you have big boobs i'm like what a douche <laughs> I don't know. I just never liked him. And I'm like, I was basically just yelling at my TV the whole time. And I'm like, pick Trevor. And even Trevor was like, if I had gone first and asked you to marry me, would you have said yes? And she didn't answer, which means yeah. So it's too bad he didn't go first. Anyways. Back to Chelsea. People are just like bashing her, being like, oh god, this girl thinks she looks like Megan Fox. No, she doesn't. She didn't say that. Like, calm down. Anyway. People have said I look like a lot of celebrities and I don't think I look like literally any of them. And I'm not even going to name them because I don't want to put that on myself. But, anyway, yeah, I'm just like, poor girl, I don't know, just getting bashed online. Like, she's not ugly. She doesn't look like Megan Fox. Like, there are things about her that I could see would be similar, but she's not ugly. So, like, everybody needs to just calm down and, like, be, be nice. Like, she's a human. Like... These things online make people do crazy things when you start talking about their looks and everything. Like, she can't help what she looks like. I hate that crap. Also, what's her name? Oh, Jessica, maybe? So Jessica was the other one that, I think that's her name. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm going to go in with, uh, I don't know, maybe this darkest one, this one. Maybe I'll just mix like a few of these together. So anyways, Jimmy was also talking to Jessica. And Jessica seemed fine, but she was a little bit uh, over the top, like aggressive, I would say. Like he would say something, she'd be like, well, what is it? Like, am I this or that? Or, like, and I get that it would be a super frustrating situation, especially when you're living with the person that's dating, dating the guy that you're interested in. And, like, I could just see how it would be, like, a whole mess. And... Then when he basically said he was picking Chelsea, which he also said, I don't care about Chelsea's lips, blah, blah, blah. But yes, you do, because you thought she looked like Megan Fox, and that's why you picked her. <sighs> but anyway, so then when he was telling Jessica that he wasn't picking her, just going back in with that Byredo pencil, he was like, I don't know, he basically like tried to let her down as gently as possible and she was just not having it. And she was like, I can't believe you did this to me. This is so unfair, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, girl, that's the name of the game. Like everybody was like, oh, I can't believe the way. I'm just like, that's what they're there for. Like she knew he was talking to Chelsea also. Like she knew that, that like that wasn't a surprise. He had to pick one. So I'm going to keep both of them. Like that stupid idiot Matt. Who's like saying the exact same to, same thing to both girls. Like he thinks they're not going to find out. And I'm like, 
also how he just kept walking in they'd start talking and then he would walk out the door and I'm like what an a-hole reminds me of some guys I know <laughs> I swear but anyway yeah they're just like in the middle of talking and he just leaves and I'm like whoa that is douchey anyway okay so back to Jimmy and Jessica so Jessica's like freaking out on him and then she's like wait until you see me you will choke just wait like she's really good looking but that just made her so ugly to me the way she was like so sassy and talking about how hot she was to me just yeah Like, if a guy was talking that way, I would instantly be... I'm sorry, I have something in the corner of my eye. I would instantly be like, no need to go further, we're done here. <laughs> Ugh, I just, I couldn't. I'm like, yeah, you're pretty, but your attitude is so ugly. And that just made you ugly to me. And my fiance was like, oh, like he was appalled. He was like, that's the first girl. He was like, okay, she's really pretty. And as soon as he heard those words come out of her mouth, he was like, oh no. He's like, yeah, no, that's not cute. So all the people that are like, oh, Chelsea, blah, 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 saying things about her and again I'm only on I just finished episode five there could be more to come that I haven't seen yet because I think we have number six and then we have to wait a little bit of time by the time this video goes up I'll probably have watched all of them because we kind of went on a rampage <laughs> and I think they'll probably be released by that time I'm gonna go in with my lip liner the old nude beige that I love and, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say about that. Holy crap. Things are getting wild. And then just like some of the guys, like, I think it was Clay. He was just being very, like, I don't know. He got mad about something. Which made me kind of like, oof, that's kind of a red flag. So far, he seems to really like, oh my gosh, what's her name? Oh my gosh, I can't remember her name. I think she was a cheerleader. AD. Also, what does that stand for? Did she even say? So I think he really likes her, but I didn't like how he was like, so what do you look like? And she's like, not the point of the experiment. But then I'm like, why did you go back to him? Anyway, they seem really lovey. So we'll see. I'm just excited for when they all see each other because that's like when the drama gets popping. I mean, I feel bad because it's like, these are real people, but like also how much of it is staged? I don't know. Who knows? It's all crazy. So what am I going to put on the lips? Let's do, I can't remember what I did the other day. Let's see. Should I do something that I like never do? Should I do this? Peachy Nude. This is by Anastasia. I don't think I've ever used this in a video. It's just like, it's orange. But I wanna do what, um, Oh my gosh, what's her name? I think it's OMG Lashes on 
on YouTube. I want to do what she did. She used this mixed with uh, Staycation by Huda. So I'm going to do that. Just give me one sec. Okay, Staycation. It looked so much lighter on her because obviously she has deeper skin than I do, of course, as the world does. Um, but I am going to take a tiny bit of... KKW. Just make it a little bit lighter. Why do I do this in every video? Uh, this is like my comfort makeup, so I should have just done what I love. And I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I wiped off most of it. I'm just going to go in with the KKW or Skin by Kim nude one. And then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the KKW, Kim KW. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit more of the lip liner. Oh my gosh, it's really just down to its last. Its last leg. Oh my gosh, there's literally nothing left. And sometimes I like to take a little bit of this, which is number 40. This is the Rimmel. This is like a little bit warmer than I normally go, but because it's kind of like a warm tone look, I think it works. It got it in my eye. Yes, dude. So that is kind of not my everyday, but like my comfort makeup. This is like the, the foundation that I use that I love that I know will always look kind of like seamless. I love this bronzer, I use it all the time. I just love this um, palette. I think it's super useful if you wanna do a warm look or a cool tone look. This is not necessarily, this isn't gonna be somebody's everyday. Like I know it's pretty smoky. What I normally do is not do the underneath, but I just liked how it looked the other day, so that's why I did it. Um, but normally, yeah, I would just do up top, the top liner and the, last, uh, and the mascara. And then I would just leave the bottom part kind of bare. I can't talk right now. I'm like kind of naked, bare, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know what's going on with my hair either. Sorry. I always notice in my videos, it's, I always have like a cowlick in the back here, but it's fine. It's always there. Um, so yeah. And the lips kind of like, change up day to day but most of the time honestly i'm probably using like haze or i'm using carol beige or i'm using the sephora collection cream lip stain in number 32 or i use love love i feel like they're getting rid of these i'm happy i have two but i don't see this one online anymore and i feel like they're getting rid of it so hopefully not but um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this look. I do love it with like a pink, pinky cheek. Again, I would use either a powder blush or the cream blush, but I love the tone of this one. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and please subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you, bye. Oh my gosh, so for the second time in a row, I forgot to finish talking about Reversal. 
So what I meant to say is I do feel like it's kind of helping my skin. It doesn't feel quite as oily throughout the day. That could just be the products I'm using, but I feel like it's been helping. And I feel like my texture is not looking as bad. So the 15-day uh, trial includes uh, the first week or the first six days. I think you're just using a moisturizer that they provide you let them know your skin type and like what you're looking for so i put anti-aging and i put combination um and so they sent me an anti-aging combination skin kit so for the first six days it's just the cleanser and a moisturizer and that's it i feel like the moisturizer is a little bit too heavy for me to use throughout the day so i just use it at night and then the second week you're using it you have an anti-aging serum which you use just once a day so i usually use it at night and then the moisturizer, the cleanser, and then the third week you're using that. And I think you incorporate like the same thing, but I think you incorporate a glycolic peel and they give the glycolic peel in there too. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm just on my second week now, but I do feel like the first week, like I'm really liking how my skin is looking and feeling. And also I forgot to mention too that I usually go in also, which I just did off camera, with the NYX setting spray, the matte one. And I feel like that's been helping me stay matte. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for watching and I love ya, bye.